All right, gonna do some heroics on Shkek to buy offhand from vendor. Dude, I have five level 80s. That's nothing good. What is the daily? Caverns of Time. So we get seven from Caverns of Time alone. Nice. Bro, I haven't done heroics in so long. I play this game too much. All right, I got a healer. We got D Kek, U Kek, I Kek. This fucking dude's name, bro. Can you show gear? Yeah, uh, this is what I got yesterday. Um, Got the helmet from Saffron. Sar Sartre. What do you call this guy, man? Like, his name is just Orion, like, from OS. All right, I got the helmet from OS. I got the 25-man the chest, so that got four set that way. Uh, I bought these from a player for 2,000 gold. I got these boots for 1K, and I got this belt for, like, 1K. This belt is not even the best, but it's pretty good. There you go. So I got four set. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to be uh, hit-capped once I get pride. That's why I'm doing these dungeons, so I get pride. And, yeah, I'm going to be spell hit-capped, which is crazy. It, like, this guy went... I mean, he just... I don't know how much DPS I gained from all of this, including pride. Pride, it must be hundreds, like high hundreds, like 300, 400 DPS probably. Uh, maybe even more because like four set is huge. The offense is going to be huge. Getting hit cap is huge, right? Gain more attack power, more agility, right? Very, very nice. You guys like this helmet or not? Like I'm showing it off on purpose because I think it looks kind of cool. I'm like, uh, you know, juggernaut. You're like the old Batman. <laughs> oh, the old Batman through. It looks bad. I don't know. I think it looks kind of funny, man. Oh, shit. It looks so much worse on human. I am Magneto. Ah. <coughs> Can't do that voice, man. When am I doing sober scene? I'm sober right now, guys. I, I swear I am. I also was thinking of maybe leveling inscription today on one of my characters. I don't know, like, if it's worth it. The thing is, uh, so I'm gonna level a rogue and a DK, and, and I have a hunter, right? And then I have a uh, a red paladin. Plus, I have a warrior. So, that's at least four dark moon cards that I need, right? It might be cheaper to level inscription and make cards yourself, but I don't really know how it works. And my understanding is you get a random card, right? What if you get a card that's not nobles? Is it just worthless? or can you sell that on the auction house because then if i'm getting all these other worthless cards and i have to sell them it might actually be uh, a struggle honestly sell fast it's worth a day yesterday but i spent 20k gold and i made three decks but it took me almost five hours okay explain to me how it takes you five hours to make that what is time consuming about it because like i don't want to spend five hours doing shit i'd rather just level a character in five hours bro but i need to level professions on my druid anyway so if you spend 20k gold and you got three decks you get wait you spent 20k and you got three decks and you got more cards that you sold right so you actually spent less than 20k so you save a lot of gold listen today is gonna be a stream where i'm not gonna get mad i'm gonna be wholesome there's no raiding today how can i get mad if i don't raid you know raiding is what gets me aggressive you know i, I get power trips bro you know i get fucking reckless right today is no raiding only heroics leveling maybe leveling professionals gonna be a nice chill stream same tomorrow oh there's no way i can get mad Look at this DPS, holy shit. God damn, that was without wolves too. God damn, brother, god damn. We got a lot more haste now, guys, because of the force set here. Is 5% more haste, pretty much. Many haste, though, right? Many haste doesn't... Wait, 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 wait. Is many haste still a thing? It is, right? That means, like, it doesn't affect my lightning bolt, I assume. Now, the problem with Malta is where I live. All the gyms are either hotel gyms that close even earlier, or, uh, yeah, like, or this one. And this, this is the only normal gym that is close to me. It's the only normal gym, and sadly, it, uh, it costs 105 euros every four weeks. 105 euro per month yeah and it's not even that good by the way like you yes. don't think it's like some insane gym or some fucking three plague. floors it's like one floor all right like two big rooms what it's like this? i don't know it's, it's overpriced i used to go to fort fitness but i i don't live there anymore i don't i used to live right in front of fort fitness and i didn't even go to it like i moved to go to this gym and then i never went like i got a three-month membership i went twice that's it i used to live right in front of fort fitness fort fitness is like the no, best yeah, gym in malta by far and it's really expensive but this gym i'm going to is even more expensive than Ford Fitness, but Ford Fitness is where the money. They have like so many of every machine, like it's huge. It's, they have a fucking boxing ring, like they have a run track. They just have everything, you know. 
Even if I had a car. I mean, if I had a car, it would be fine, probably. But even then, it's, like, really fucking annoying to park there. And having, like, car, like to drive a car there and come... Like, fuck that shit, bro. It's better to, like, walk to a gym. Because that's, like, kind of, like, your cardio warm-up, right? If you walk fast to the gym, you get your blood flowing a bit. It's nice. Um, I, I think driving to a gym is worse, always. But, you know, it's my opinion, right? Like, I got this apartment, right? The, the second night there, cops knocked on my door at midnight. And they started asking me questions about the landlord. Apparently, he was doing, like, illegal shit, right? But I was a, it was a red flag. We left after six months, bro. And it was like always so many cockroaches. And you had to, you had to pay for electricity with a card. You had to top up your electricity. So if you didn't top up with the card, you would lose your power. And the guy that topped up the electricity was some like dude that lived in an apartment that had a job. So sometimes he wasn't there. And I would call him like, hey, I need electricity. He's like, oh, I can't come. I guess I can't stream today, guys. Literally, what the fuck, man? Dude, I can't wait to raid on my shaman. Like, I, I want, I need to sign up to a GDKP like right now. Uh, like a like a proper one like i was maybe thinking going hostages kp on shaman on wednesday instead of my warrior and then on warrior i joined like a shittier gdkp later in the week basically wednesday gdkps are the best gdkps the fastest the best for parsing right why would i go on warrior yeah i got a rank one parse as a tank who gives a fuck it doesn't matter no one cares so it's more hype to like pump on shaman i think in those wednesday runs than uh than warrior Will you go for Gladiator? Yes, but not this season. I think I go Glad maybe in uh, season three. Cause like right now I'm too busy, man. I don't have time to go Glad. I mean, I really don't have time. I have to farm honor my warrior, and then like I stop leveling my alts, and then I have less runs to do every week. Who's gonna carry me? There's bunch of me. There was literally a rank one guy that offered to like play with me. Like, like I as a streamer, you can easily find someone to help. And what what I probably do is like go like twos, cause like threes is too hard for me. I probably go like uh, the easiest comp in the world, like Warrior Paladin, right? And just find one really good holy bottom. But I don't think I can do it this season. Unless this unless the season lasts like longer than expected. Like say Uldwar comes out February, then maybe maybe I don't know. But even then, I just I'm too behind. Next TwitchCon is in Paris. Yo, really? That's fucking awesome. I never been to France. Hell yeah, dude. What's the date? Maybe it's like uh, early in the in the month in the year. Cause normally TwitchCon EU is like March. Paris EU. I've never been to France, man. Literally pop all cooldowns and don't move the boss. I lost. All right. Now, don't even try to kite him. Just pop all CDs if he gets in range. Fucking ascending, brother. Fucking. Shkek, bro. Look at Shkek. Tank ADPS. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus, what the fuck was that? I guess I was hitting two. Yeah, I was hitting two, but still, it was a lot. Like, the thing about Shaman is if you pre, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, like, pop so many globals on pool. So you kind of cut your burst. If you, like, pop that shit before the boss is active, you gain so many globals. And I've been, I've been, like, getting better at my opener. Before my opener was so shit. Like, actually, I need to fix one macro. And this is gonna be insane. Slash pad attack. Because my, my wolves go passive and I don't, don't even attack the first few seconds. I noticed it yesterday. How does orc ratio work for shaman, by the way? Wait, it gives you attack power and spell power. Dude, that's so broken. Wait, so you're just double dipping on that or what? If that works like a double dip, that's bust. I mean, troll shaman is probably still really good, but I don't think shaman is good at all on the... Uh on alliance like you don't get shit on an alliance for shaman like drain i one percent hit versus this i think loses bro plus you have five percent pet damage which i think works for your wolves i it works for your totem though at least this dungeon gives like four of these i'm getting close i gotta do math so like there's two more here right that's 35 how much is lightning is it three no it's four so 39 yeah it's not enough when will you play icc if when it comes out i don't know when it's coming out it's probably like a year away or something is enhancement difficult? It is. I don't know, even if you're like doing a lot of mistakes, you do good DPS. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's one of those like classes where you can do a lot, but even if you're like not doing so well, you're still gonna do fine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, the, the ceiling is really high. Like it's it's the, the amount of things you need to do. It's like you literally need to summon a fucking snake and like a pet snake to reset your swing timer. You want them in max. Like summoning snakes, tracking when you like press your lightning bolt, make sure you're using the right globals as soon as possible like snapshotting shit it's it's a lot it's a lot compared to most classes but even with being a jackass on it you, you'll do fine like 
It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not like Feral Druid, because like Feral Druid, like if you're a bad Feral Druid, you're gonna do no DPS. Feral is like, bro, if you look at the parses of Feral Druids, the bad Feral Druids are playing, are doing as bad as like the fucking sub rogues. Like they have the biggest variance ever. Like the best Ferals are doing good compared to most people, but they're still way worse than the best classes, the best players on the best classes, right? But then the worst Ferals are doing worse or as bad as the worst specs in the game of the worst players. Like I'm talking fucking Frost Mage, bottom of the pack, Sub Rogues, PM Hunter, bottom pack. So that's the floor on Feral is so low is what I'm saying, right? And the floor on Enhancer is not that low. Like you, you cannot be worse than this on Enhancer, for example, right? But Feral can be all the way down here. And the best Enhancer beats the best Feral. So Feral is like, ah, why would you play it? If you care about DPS right now, it's not a really fucking bad spot, man. Like, the best ferals do okay, but that's the best. And, like, you're not gonna be the best feral. Like, it's, uh, those people are at the top. You know what they're fucking doing? The people at the top, bro? They're using fucking Dark Moon card of strength. Wait, why would you use Dark Moon card strength on a feral druid? Because apparently, if you fucking bear weave, it's better. It's like, there's just so much fucking DJ and shit. Yeah, I need to turn off the sound of it. I'll turn off the sound. Imagine buying strength Dark Moon card on a fucking druid, bro. What the hell? I don't know. No, my guess is strength gives you like two attack power if you're in bear form or some shit that's that's the only way it can be better than agi and they they do bear form a lot and they stack lacerate and bear form and uh, they get more value that way from the i don't know it must be there must be a reason why they would take st uh, strength over edgy you know? so i'm gonna turn off the sound guys so I, uh... <laughs> Because we're entering combat twice, so it's playing the sound twice. Warriors and Rat, they get much better in the, in the end of the expansion. Again, I was gonna say something. So, I don't, how many of you guys play Wars of Draenor? So, the last raid of Wars of Draenor, you had this like legendary ring, and it like basically the way this ring worked, you had a Frodo, we called it Frodo. Frodo was the guy who activated the legendary ring. Whenever Frodo activated the legendary ring, everyone in the raid that had the ring would also get it activated. The way the ring worked, um, it would uh, basically increase your damage by like, I don't know, 25%. And then 25% of all damage dealt would be stored inside Frodo, who had activated the ring, and then would go off Frodo when the effect ended. So imagine 20 arcane mages all doing 25% more damage, and then 25% of all damage dealt in, from the whole raid that had the ring would then go off from Frodo. What happened? What happened? Well, towards the end of the phase, there was this guild called Drive. And Drive was like, hey, let's stack 20 arcane mages. Uh, more like 18 arcane mages because 20 man raiding, right? Why not? Like, let's do it. It's fun, right? How do I find this? Uh, this is crazy. Let's do this, they said, right? Let's do this. And when they did that, they killed bosses in 12 seconds. So... The thing is, when the ring blew up, this is the ring blowing up here. It was 108 million DPS. They killed bosses so fast that they had to pre-pop the ring, because the ring lasts 15 seconds. They had to pre-pop it so that they would time the explosion with killing the boss. Because if you otherwise the boss would die in 15 seconds, which is too slow. And yeah, they would just stack arcane mages um, with Doom Nova. If you don't remember what Doom Nova was, it was a trinket from was it Macterodon? I don't know his name. Manorot. And it, it would deal damage based on every attack you would do. But it would like also hit other targets. So they would hit the boss with it and it would hit the crystal and the crystal would hit the boss again. So they would be triple dipping. Like it was crazy shit. That's why Arcane was so good. So this is what happened towards the end of Hellfire Silver. So you couldn't parse unless you were in this in these guilds, right? Like killing boss in 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 59, that was, uh, you know, 17. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is what the DK shirt reminds me of, but like a very like not so degenerate version, right? This is like, you gotta keep in mind, this is the end of the expansion and that ring was completely broken, right? Obviously was completely busted it's like this ring exploding you have to keep in mind like the ring exploding was doing six million damage